Hi everybody, this is my little tutorial on how to build a mothership. Now I wanted to do this tutorial because when I looked on YouTube I couldn't find anyone else who had done one of these tutorials, or at least in the title when I searched it I couldn't find it. So I thought I'd just do a quick little video just in case uh, any of you guys wanted to know how you can make a functioning uh, mothership. So the first uh, piece that you'll need to place from what I understand is something called a mothership core. So if we type that in, mothership core, spawn it. You get one of these blocks and I think even when you attempt to build it, it just looks like a frame. When I, it looks like a frame and I believe it says it's a frame as well. So if we get our welder out, yeah, see, it, it says frame on there, so it acts like a frame when you build it, it's the same size as other frames. So going under here, that piece is the mothership core and all the other blocks around it are frames, except for this guy over here. So what I have on here is six engines and these are the tiny ones I believe and I've got them all joined up to the pipe network and there's a uh, fuel in the in the pipeline but each one of these engines is pointing in a different direction you've got uh, forward back the two sides there's one over there and then you've got sort of up and down now you'll need all six on there um, and I've got this tank to store fuel now that's just a standard uh, fuel tank that I've put in and I use these pumps to pump it into the the tank in the network over here I've got like a pipe analyzer so you can see what's what's in there so yeah this spinny thing over here is a gyroscope um, again I've got this wired into the network and I'm using an RTG just because I'm lazy and here is what's called a stellar anchor now this object when it's turned on it locks the entire grid in place think of it as your in space handbrake so when you want to stop your whole little spaceship from moving you need to turn this guy on and it will lock the whole grid in a fixed position so to use that instead of having to fly down over here and hit this little switch I've got this uh, toggle over here and that just toggles the power on that um, that stellar thing so you can see it it's stopped now but yeah we want to leave it running just so it, this doesn't move around so fuel power stellar anchor gyroscope now this is a chair now to get the chair you use um, a kit furniture I don't have any here kit tank oh yeah kit furniture and it's one of the chairs in here control chair so that's how you get that guy and it has a data port and power and uh, I, I basically wired everything together on the one network here so you can see there's a screen here and when you get in the chair you can see that there's a screen on the right here now if you're missing anything like the fuel's low like the engines uh, report the fuel is low that will be red or yellow I forget exactly which um, if the gyro is missing and thrust I'm not sure I haven't seen that any other color than green but then you've got your six engines you see there as well now if you use um, in, uh, home and end on my keyboard you can adjust the thrust of the engine so when you use the keyboard controls to uh, move the ship around that controls how much it, how quickly it will accelerate how much thrust the engines is going to attempt to put out um, I think there's a limit on how much thrust the thrust each engine can do and this you can adjust it there but obviously I'm guessing if you put it above say the tiny engines only do 200 kPa and then you put it to 250 it's probably only going to work at 200 so you'll see in the top right below um, my avatar there's a you, the guy sitting in the seat with a cue so that's how you get in and out of the seat so 
you click you just left click to get in and hit Q to get out so what I'm going to do now is start flying this thing so the first thing we have to do is uh, turn off our our anchor yep it's off so now we're in here and you can see like I've moved the mouse and it's slowly moving so that's what the gyroscope does uh, currently it looks like it only does left to right maybe if I put another gyroscope on there I'll be able to look up and down I think you know, maybe I'll try that later but currently I can use the mouse to turn left and right and you'll see on the screen here you've got forward lateral and vertical so what I'm going to do is just press spacebar and now you see like vertical is positive and even though it's dark you can see that we're slowly moving up and I've now hit control and now it's saying negative and we're going down so that's kind of your reference point there that you um if vertical is positive you're climbing if it's negative you're slowly going down now lateral that's like left and right um, for most games A and D strafing if you're into first person shooters that's the standard there so it's the same as uh, A and D so when it's uh, positive you're moving to the the right but if it's negative you're moving to the left and you can probably guess what's going to happen with the forward and reverse so when it's a positive number you're going slightly forward negative number going slightly back so if you play station engineers not station engineers what's it called space engineers yeah um, you'll you'll know that there's like a movement dampener thing so you press a button and then if you're not pressing any of the movement keys it will slow your vehicle down to a particular speed now I don't know if there's anything like this in here so you have to do it manually so if you're zipping around you're just going to have to manually reduce your um, your speed to zero using the controls and then jump out and grab the 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 break so that's what I'm going to do now so I'm going to hit Q to go out and then I toggle the the stellar anchor and you saw it stopped so I'll just get in and I'll just go down a bit and you see it's like slowly moving and it'll just keep moving on its own so what I have to do is um, come here and toggle the power and that turns the stellar anchor on so uh, yeah that's um this video doesn't need to be longer than that. Um, I'm not really going to go into how I built this. So I, I think it's visually fairly easy to see. You just kind of wire everything up and then make sure it's on the same network as the chair. And the tri the chair will usually tell you if you're missing something. So yeah, you just need the mother ship core in there, fuel supply, engines, power, a gyroscope, and a stellar anchor. And if your if your ship isn't moving, you need to turn your stellar anchor off. That's probably the key piece of information. So yeah, let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Um, if you want me to go over any of this in more detail, uh, let me know, and I might make another video. But yeah, thanks for watching.